What's up, guys? How are you guys doing today? Today, I want to talk about something I've been uh, really fucking enjoying, which is actually Black Desert Online. Uh, I kind of wanted to make a video series talking about my progression through the game. Uh, and I wanted to kind of start with my first week in the game, what I've done, and kind of give you guys an idea of what it's like to start the game in 2021. And uh, maybe it'll help people decide if it's their jam or not. Uh, so the first thing you're going to start off with is when you get into the game world, you're going to be... Uh, Given the main story, your first main story quest, uh, you're gonna have a little black demon dude that you're gonna see uh, on screen right now. It's just a little, this little dude. He's gonna look different for you. Uh, but what this guy's gonna do is he's gonna give you a quest. You just follow them. It's gonna be a super long quest chain. It's gonna, it's gonna span across like uh, two or three regions, um, and it's pretty cool. I mean, it's cool. It's gonna give, it gives you a lot of stuff. It gives you your basic gear, uh, which you're gonna use then use to upgrade. It's called the Naru gear. Uh, you eventually upgrade into the Tuvula gear. I know that sounds like words right now, but you guys don't know what that is later on. Uh, and yes, yeah, so I went to the main story quest, uh, and then I got to the point now after finishing the desert region, uh, where I'm just mob grinding, and uh, I'm just mob grinding, trying to get my gear upgraded, and trying to go as fast as possible to try and get uh, as much as I can get done uh, during the seasons, or during the BDO season, which ends at the end of the month. Uh, what is nice about the season, for anyone who is new and is on the fence about it, uh, the season is allows you, or BDO seasons rather, allow you to... It, catch up to people who have been playing the game forever essentially <laughs> uh it's a special types it's special types of servers that allow you either existing players or new players to uh make a fresh character uh and have you know accelerated progression methods through gear uh through experience through whatever other things in the game that like any form of progression is just kind of sped up uh, so now we can kind of get to the the juicy part of the game and kind of enjoy what we what video has to offer uh, and also helps you like skip a big part for you know people who are worried about artists people who've been playing forever they're super strong whatever it is uh, a lot of times they're kind of at like a you know it's almost like they're like trying to climb a, a, like a 90 degree slope or something like they're at a part of the game where the game slows down a ton so being able to just jump in and be uh i guess boosted in a way is actually really convenient and actually a lot of fun uh, as far as the combat and the gameplay loop i've been really really enjoying it it's been a really really good time uh, the combat feels freaking amazing. I did a little bit, little bit of PvP today, actually, for the first time. There was somebody who tried to contest my mob grind spot, uh, so I killed them, and it was badass as fuck. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I felt like a, I, I felt super fucking badass. <laughs> the PvP feels really, really cool. The combat feels freaking incredible. It, like, honest to god, no other MO could really hold a candle to the combat of video. It really is different. Um, controlling your character, like just having your character, like you doing any sort of lateral movements is kind of weird. I don't know what it is, but your character is kind of like a tank or something. It's, it's very strange, but the combat fluid is very, very fluid. The mob grinding, I personally find a lot of fun. Um, for people who are familiar with something like old school RuneScape, I think this is something you definitely enjoy. Um, if you're able to like handle like long grinds and more goal oriented uh, gameplay opposed to just kind of being led on what you have to do, I think you will enjoy BDO. There's a good chance you might. Uh, just because it really is has that OSRS feel of like you have to figure out okay well what is it that I want to do and then it's a long grind to get there uh, the gearing system right now is pretty easy for me because again I am playing in, in the, the seasons and the accelerated servers or whatever um, but the thing that is kind of cancerous that I'm not a fan of is the enhancing uh, enha pretty much the way gear works in this game it's a pretty like linear progression system uh, you get a piece of gear you enhance it about 20 times the last 5 levels are uh, insanely cancerous uh, pretty much the last five levels, every time you fail an enhancement, uh, pretty much you try to level it up. It's to call enhancing every time you try to level it up. Uh, if it fails that, it'll go back down a level. And it, and then throughout the entire process, if any, every time you fail an enhancement, it'll, uh, you, it'll take a little bit of max durability loss, which then you have to repair yourself. Um, it's not, I don't really like it personally, uh, but once I get off the league ser or the uh, season servers, you can just buy gear that's already been enhanced by somebody else. So what I'm probably going to be doing is once the gear gets kind of cancerous to, to, to enhance and it's just kind of unpleasant, I'm just going to end up buying the gear already enhanced. There, it is, there is a large premium on it, um, but it's just worth the sanity. <laughs> it's actually insane. Like just failing, failing enhancement every single time and actually becoming weaker every time you try to strengthen your gear. I'm not a fan of that. I'd rather just, you know, once it gets like way too cancerous, I'm just going to probably end up just buying the gear. Uh, grinding out the money and just doing it that way because it's much more uh, just for my own mental stability. <laughs> uh, the last thing I want to touch on also is if the game is pay to win. I've only been playing the game a week. As you can tell, they already got me, boys. I'm fucking glowing in the dark and I'm looking sexy as hell. Um, the game is definitely pay to win. You can literally spend money to have your... To, to, like to buy gear. It's, it's straight up. If you can spend money to get gear, 
But, and this is, so this is where the, the argument always happens in the game, and I feel like everyone's just always having the wrong argument. The game is traditionally pay to win free equipment, but it's so fucking expensive to do that, that the majority of the player base probably isn't doing that, because it costs like tens of thousands of dollars to do this. It's like insanely expensive if you want to pay to win in that sense. The game is, however, going to twist your wrist a little bit on things you have to buy. The two things that stand out to me, and I'm going to be talking about this in a separate video, um, but the thing that stands out to me is equipment to wait. Equipment slots, you're fine. Inventory slots, they give you a ton during the main story quest. Uh, but the weight, because every single item actually has a weight to it, they sell that, and you're gonna have to buy that. Uh, again, for the first month, for the first however long, you don't really have to worry about it, but when you start mob grinding, you're gonna want equipment to wait. It's insanely important because uh, your GP per hour is gonna get affected by how, you know, how many times you have to go back to town and sell and do all that stuff. Uh, the other thing that is gonna that is definitely uh, pay to win is a campsite. There's a little campsite you can you can purchase that allows you to put on a campsite that lets you repair your gear. Which again, if while you're enhancing your gear, its max durability is being brought down, uh, and you don't want to spend money on bringing the max durability back up, it's gonna wear out a lot quicker. Which means that having a campsite that lets you repair your gear really fucking useful. Uh, also, it allows you to buy potions in the field or whatever, which is again very very useful. And it gives you world buffs. So, again, nothing in the game is ever absolutely like not obtainable except the equipment weight. Uh, you can get these world buffs normally by going to them in the world, but the world of this game is actually massive. It is a massive, massive, massive world. And there's no fast traveling, which I kind of like. It really is a, a draw to me to the game that there aren't many MMOs anymore that are actually a large, seamless world that aren't, like, it's not just a bunch of instant zones or whatever. Um, I find it pretty cool. But to get these world buffs, you'd have to go to these little uh, villas. And these little villas uh, are kind of scattered around everywhere. And without the campsite, you'd have to physically run over there and then physically run to wherever it is you're grinding. It's essentially unobtainable. With the campsite, it lets you get these buffs that it will in either increase your experience gain or your maybe your uh, attack power and your defense power. Um, to me, this is the largest pay to win feature of the game. If you're going to be playing the game long term, it's you're gonna want to buy the campsite. It's like uh, I think it's right now it's on sale, but I think usually it's like about 50 US dollars. Uh, and then the equipment weight is usually another like 20. To like, like I think you usually want to sit around. From what I've been told, you want to sit around like about a thousand, uh, like you know, around a thousand uh, LTs. So usually you're looking at around like like 60 to 80 dollars USD to like kind of get as an investment into the game. Um, but I think, and this is why the argument is always being done if the game's paid to win or not. Once you have these items, from my perspective so far, these seem to be the items that are the most uh, necessary. Everything after that is just taking shortcuts. If you want to take a shortcut somewhere, you can always pay money for that. But the way I look at it is that if the entire game is based around grinding and you keep taking shortcuts to circumvent uh, the grind, it's the gameplay. It, that's the gameplay cycle, right? That's the gameplay loop. If you don't like grinding, you won't like the game. And if you keep doing things to skip the grind, then it's kind of like you're... Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like... It kind of takes away from the purpose of playing the game in my eyes. Um, but yeah, I've been really, really enjoying the game. I would highly recommend it. I do plan on making a lot more video content on the channel. Um, I do kind of want to do a progression series just showing you guys maybe making a short video of where I've, what I've gotten up to, what I've learned, what's going on. And uh, for people who are new to the game, it might be helpful. Uh, or maybe people who might still be on defense and you might want to wait until the next season or something and you just kind of want to get information uh, as to what it's like to start the game at you know this, like, this late into, into its life cycle. And uh, I'll be talking about like maybe the problems I'll be having or the things I've gotten or the good things that have happened or whatever it is uh, to kind of give you guys an, an, some insight on what you can expect uh, jumping into BDO in 2021, you know? Uh, but yeah, I hope the game, I hope, uh, <laughs> hope the game, I hope the video was helpful. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys have any questions about the game or anything from the video, please, I do suggest you leave a comment down below. Uh, also, if you guys ever want to chat with me, the best way to do it is either through my Twitch channel, which I stream on seven, uh, sorry, five days a week. Uh, Monday to Friday, starting at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So be sure to click the Twitch link in my description box down below if you'd like to uh, chat with me directly. Uh, or if you'd like to join my community Discord, I am on almost all the time. So feel free to uh, private message me there. Uh, just feel free to click the Discord link in the description box again, and you'll be able to uh, get in contact with me. Other than that, guys, make sure to like and subscribe if you like the video. Have a great day, and I'll see you later. Peace!